guys, it's Confaz here. Welcome to the channel for you and welcome back if you're not. Today is VR Thursday and we are on the VR headset because it's VR Thursday, yay! And today we're going to look at this app called Home After War. It's about like the war that happened in like Middle East and all that. And even though in the description it says even though the war is finished it still isn't safe because there are booby traps around like in electricity and when I looked to the comments it made people cry and um but I heard that jump scare noises so I really don't want a jump scare noise but anyway let's join but I hope they don't swear because it's an 18 plus game but it's free so I hope they don't swear my video, otherwise I'll have to make a new one. Okay, we're in. They are for go- Ooh! Some- Where- Wait, where are we? Where are we? Whoa, that's smoke. <gasps> oh! <gasps> You can walk and teleport with them. Well, yeah, okay. Press A to aim. Differently. Okay, so that's how I teleport. Okay, I teleport there. No. I feel actually kind of bubbly. Nothing is enjoyable to me anymore. Nothing tastes sweet anymore. Life has become meaningless. Hmm. That sounds pretty sad. Happy city though, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, he's supposed to return home because he doesn't want to be like a stranger. Okay, we're gonna enter in. Enter in. Ooh, oh my. I actually feel so sorry for him already. Okay, so I'm just gonna teleport near his door. Knock, knock. Oh, okay. We were even wary of the outside gate. They could have left a bomb right behind it. Inside the house, they could have planted bombs under our beds, ready to explode the moment we went to sleep. They could have trapped everything, the floor, the ceiling, the walls, and the doors. I was afraid. Well, we're gonna go inside his house now. Oh. My name is Ahmaid Hamad Kalaf. I am 58 years old. I have been a security guard at a school in Fallujah since 2004. We live like any other Iraqi family. We live in this house. I'm the head of the family. I make a living for them. Hello? Oh, so you teleport here. Press A to play with 360. That's someone there. When ISIS came here, I heard. the video accidentally Ooh, we're inside the house. our area here oh, was a front line between isis and the security forces at the start of the war rockets were falling on us if you look around you'll see how one rocket fell on my house my son Saad was hit by shrapnel but he survived thanks to allah we took the car and fled we were one of the first families to leave this area I actually really feel sorry for him. 
Sorry, I'm not really... You know our house is our home. We worked hard to build and furnish it. We left having no idea where to go. Which region to go to. We left our home to go stay in a rented house far away. Everything was different. We were wrecked and we were in a deplorable condition. Rent and distance from our homes drained us. There's an old saying, That's him. what's better than a son except a grandson? My grandson spends most of his time with me. He is a year and a half and can already walk. He sleeps by me. I lay down, he lays down with me. I go to the car, he comes with me. I bring him presents from the market. The moment I come home, he opens the door for me with great joy. Sometimes I feel like I'm his age. Wow, that food actually looks quite good. I'm not gonna lie, I would, I would love that food. So this is where they ate, this is where the food was. This is where like, he sat and all that. Oh my. Hey, we're in his kitchen. We heard that there were houses where the electricity was booby trapped. So the owner of a house would come in, notice that there's nothing wrong with it. The moment he turns on the light, it explodes. If you see a bomb, you would usually recognize it. But this stuff is new. And by now, many people have died. Ooh, I'm actually really scared. I'll just get jump scared like right now. This second. Ooh! Ah! When I came home, the first thing I saw was the courtyard gate that was damaged and on the ground. I walked inside the house from the kitchen door and found that all windows were broken. There was a trace of a rocket strike inside the house. In the kitchen, the washing machine, utensils, and other items were scattered. The furniture and utensils, and everything in there, was either broken or taken. I went on the roof and saw part of the wall damaged. The curtains in the living room were ripped down. I started fixing things up, little by little. It was all on my own expense. I did what I could afford. I needed to fix the windows and doors because it was so cold, we couldn't live there. I cleaned the house. I brought my family back and we settled in. They were in a crowd and some kids. Oh. The authorities instructed us about what objects to avoid. They told us to keep an eye on our children and ask them not to touch anything that looks strange but rather contact the security forces immediately. When families started to return, the security forces left notes near schools and mosques describing the objects we should avoid. Okay, Winnie. Again. Wait, another free video, free sixty video. Whoa, like the barracks then. Keep walking in. Come. 
Before we decided to come back, we said that we are going home even if that meant we had to live on the rubble because we were fed up with being strangers and we were fed up of being so far away from our home. Displacement is deeply worrying. We hated this word, displaced. I am inside my own country and they call me displaced? I actually never knew it looked like that. Okay, I'm gonna skip because all it is is just them walking. Walking, walking. Okay, I guess I need to go up the stairs. Oh, I'm on the roof. I'm gonna try see what it looks like. Oh. On the 3rd of October 2017, my son Mohammed's boss came to visit him. He wanted Mohammed to get wooden planks from inside a damaged house in the neighborhood. My sons Mohammed and Visam needed work, so they accepted the job. When the boss asked my sons to do this work, he didn't tell them if the house was safe to enter. My sons had no idea what was inside. That's <laughs> Scared me. <gasps> oh my god. Ugh. Ah. It's night time. Oh, it's night time and it's all cloudy. Wow, I got hit by a bomb. I was on Street 40 when I got a call from an unknown number. It was my youngest son, Saad. He told me to come home. When I got there, Saad took me to the house where my sons, Mohammed and Visam had been working. There were three police vehicles and an ambulance standing outside. An officer showed me IDs and asked whether they were my sons. When I said yes, he informed me that they had died. Sadness reigns our lives and our home. I can't forget them. Even if I were to forget, their mother wouldn't. Crying won't bring them back. They were my wings. They were taken from me by terrorists, by killers, by criminals. One was 22 and he was hoping to get married soon. And the second one was 19. They were young. I don't know what else to say. May their souls rest in peace. I still keep their mobile numbers. I still call them. They are dead, but I still pick up the phone and call them and remember their voices on the phone. Yes, dear. Oh, you are at work. Yes, when will you come back? I remember how we used to eat together, how they slept by my side, how they sat near me, how I saw them every morning and afternoon. I was near them all the time ever since they were born, and they were taken from me in a second. I still feel their presence. 
بين عيوني. Mm, that's actually really making me sad. Why do you keep on moving? It's too. من مو بس العائلة المستقبل. I wish that not only me, my family, or Iraq, but also the whole world lives in safety, without wars, without ISIS, without explosions, without airstrikes, without bombs exploding in their faces. I wish that virtue take root in all corners of the world. No one should shed tears for the loss of innocent children. No mother should lose her son. That's actually making me so sad and it's oh, so dark. Oh no, where am I? Oh, oh, pictures home. Oh, that's actually really sad. the silver. That was pretty sad but um, guess like if you like the video, subscribe if you like my channel and I'll see you on Fortnite Friday. <sighs>